Hey guys, Ahikwin2 here with another MX Simulator tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you guys a sort of MX Simulator plugin that you can use in your game to make your game look a lot better. And uh, what it's called is Advanced Post Processing in MX Simulator. This is made by Large at Crossmag. So uh, it's amazing what he has done in here and what he's done to the game and this forum link will be in the description and everything else that you need will be on this forum link. Now the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and go to the bottom of his post here and find the useful links and then click on how to correctly install new GPU drivers. And go ahead and go to this page and then this is a post made by Nate Zaworski and so whichever type of graphics card you have you want to go ahead and click on the drivers and so I have an NVIDIA driver or NVIDIA graphics card so you want to go ahead and go to your go to this page it opens up this page and you want to go ahead and pick all of this information so it matches yours and then click search and then go ahead and click download now I know that my graphics card or my graphics driver is all the way updated and you want to make sure that your graphics drivers are completely updated up to the latest version because if you if you don't have it on the latest version then you and then your game will lag an immense amount and you won't even be able to use this plugin so now once you have that installed you want to go ahead and go back to this page and then you want to go ahead and scroll up to, as you can see, he's out, he has a lot of information and presets here. Um, and I, I encourage you to go through and read it all. But uh, what I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right ahead here to the main uh, post, uh, post processing. And so we want to go ahead and come down here to configurations. He has a bunch of different configurations in here. And you can edit each different configuration to your own liking, which I do often. And so this is one, this is a stock one with everything disabled on it. So if you try to install this, your game will just look exactly the same. And so it's best opti optimization. It gets you about 110 to 120 FPS if you have a decent computer. And so, and then the medium optimization is a little bit lower FPS. And then the high end PC is really quite low FPS. If I can find it, it's in here somewhere. But the high end PC optimization is what you would kind of use for screenshots because you're going to be getting below 20 frames per second for the most part. And then the best op optimization is what I use for videos. I do edit it a little bit and take a few things out of it, but it's basically I use the best optimization for my edits. So we're going to go ahead and download this best, best optimization. When we go here, it's go, you go ahead and click right here. Uh, it brings you to this download. And just click download through your browser, and it'll go ahead and download. And so I'll be right back with you when it finishes. And so in order to open the file, you're going to need WinRAR or 7-Zip or some sort of extraction software. Um, and I, I assume that most people have that. But if you don't, just go ahead and Google Win, WinRAR, and it will go ahead and pop up. So go ahead and open it. And then you're left with four files here. And so we're just going to leave this here for a second. And you want to go ahead and open up your folders. Go to this PC. Go to your main operating system drive. And then you go ahead and go to program files times 86. Look for MX Simulator. And this is your install folder. This is where you installed your game. And so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and take these four files and drag them over and drop them. And then you'll have to, you'll need administration administrator permission to do this so just go ahead and click continue and then you can go ahead and exit out of this now in order to edit the effects and change them to your liking you're going to need notepad plus plus I will leave a link for that in the description and so in order to edit it you just want to right click on this master effect that H file and click edit with notepad plus plus and it will open up all of this information all this coding and so as you can see you've got all of these different effects that you can play with here and the main effects are from, is where it says enable effects around line 22 all the way through line 78 about. And so these have all these different effects that you can play with and mess around with. Um, and so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as it is. And once you're done editing it, you just kind of, you just turn like this to one and it will completely change uh, and it will turn that setting on. You can see zero to one to turn it on or off. So once you're done editing, you just want to click save, and then it'll go ahead and save. So let's go ahead and minimize that and minimize this, and we will go ahead and open up our game. And once it opens, there will be something that pops up in your top left here. So you can see it says succeeded, so that means it's working. And so what you want to do is let's just go ahead and play back a race. 
One thing that I forgot to mention here is you want to go ahead and go to your graphics sound setup and you want to go to your advanced graphics setup. And you want to go ahead and max your settings just about as far as you can without crashing your computer. And uh, this way you'll be guaranteed the highest quality as well. Alright, so our game is loading in here. And uh, it's just waiting to load and there we are. And so as you can see we have a bunch of different things and the game looks a lot different. Um, you can see we've got this lens flare thing here. Um, the colors are changed. You got some added contrast. Um, and one of the things with certain bikes is you can see this front fender looks really weird. Um, that has to do with the effect right here, the Technicolor. And so that right there makes some of the colors look different. And so sometimes I like to turn that off. Um, and even if I, and so you can actually turn it off. So let's go ahead and turn it off. Go ahead and click save. As you can see, it updates. It actually updates right in game. The only issue here now is that it's a little bit dark. And that's because of this contrast right here, the curves effect. So we can go ahead and turn that off and save. And now it's just about like a regular game. You still have your lens flare and then the in the distance it's still blurry. And you still have your vignetting around the outside here. But you and so uh, that's one way to try to fix your front fender or the gra or the plastics if it looks weird. It also messes with your red a little bit, and sometimes your red gets messed up. But that is how you install the post processing in MX Simulator. And so once you're done using it, you can go ahead and record with it. You can take a screenshot, and uh, it's really it's a w easy way to take a screenshot without even having to touch Photoshop. You can just take your screenshot and then immediately post it wherever you want. So once you're done with it, we'll go ahead and exit our game, and we can go ahead and exit our file here and open back up our folder. You want to go ahead and highlight these four things that you drew that you drug in. So you got your Master Effect folder, your Master Effect .h file, your OpenGL32.dll, and then your Reshade.fx. So those are the four files that you drug in here from that zip. And once you want to install it or uninstall, just go ahead and click Delete and it's uninstalled. It's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory system, but I've had a lot of people ask me to do a tutorial on how to install it, so I decided I'd go ahead and do that for you guys. So if the tutorial helped you, please leave a like, and uh, if you have any questions or anything that I forgot to mention, um, just go ahead and leave those questions down in the comments, and I will make sure to try to answer those as quickly as I can. So thanks, guys. thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.